Hi guys, today I want to go through a momentum and forces example question. What is the force on my car? A car of mass 2000 kilograms slows from 20 meters per second to 5 meters per second in 15 seconds. What resultant force acts on my car? Okay, so here's the velocity time graph. So we've gone from 20 meters per second to 5 meters per second in 15 seconds. So to work out the force, well, we're going to use the rate of change of momentum. That's the definition of force. So delta P, that's the change in momentum divided by delta T. But delta P, well, that's equal to M delta V, our change in velocity. Remember, our mass isn't going to change in this case. So if I do M uh, brackets, the final velocity minus the initial velocity. And we know the final velocity, well, that's 5, and the initial velocity is 20. And we also know our mass is 2,000 kilograms. So we put that all into our equation to find the change in momentum, and we find that the change in momentum is minus 30,000 kilogram meters per second. Okay, but what about the change in time? Well, we've gone from uh, 0 seconds to 15 seconds, so the change in time is 15 seconds. Uh, and then we just need to put that into our equation. So delta P, the change in momentum divided by the change in time, it's minus 30,000 divided by 15, which gives me minus 2,000 newtons. So what's that telling us? Well, the minus is telling us that it, the force is acting in the opposite direction to the car's motion. Okay, well, let's have a look at an alternative way of doing this. And we're going to use F equals MA. Remember, acceleration is... V minus U over T, the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time taken. So this is 15 minus 20 divided by 15, and we get uh, minus 1 meters per second squared. And remember, M is still 2,000 kilograms. So by putting it all into F equals MA, well, we get minus 2,000 newtons. So th this is just a different approach to this problem. So either method, totally valid, will work, give you your final answer, but I just thought you might want to see a different approach using Newton's second law. Okay, guys, hope this has been useful, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.